right. All right, boys, we're back on uh, some baby bullet action here. Uh, today what we're doing is we're doing this uh, this little fixed anvil part. And, you know, I already did one. Uh, I almost wasn't going to film this, but because uh, it's very similar to a lot of the stuff that we're already that we've already done, but let's we'll go ahead and do it. Um, and this is this little bit back here uh, that that makes this little uh, anvil area here. Um, and yes, I made it separately, and I think I answered that question why I did that. Um, so here's the jaw that it's going to go on, and you guys will be happy to know that uh, I've been working on this a little bit. Um, so you can see all the, the, various, the various cuts that have been made, okay? And then I've started to do some of the rounding work here, as you can see there, all right? And that's all just done with files, okay? That's all just done with files. There's a kind of a, kind of a comparison there, and uh, it's actually uh, pretty relaxing uh, to sit there with a file and uh, kind of go over this stuff. Um, this is, every, you know, all this was pretty easy here. Uh, this was uh, probably the hardest part right in that area uh, since you can't get a stroke because it's, uh, it's concave there. So you're short stroking it across. <laughs> that sounds kind of funny. So you're kind of uh, using short strokes across that area to round that off. So, uh, but anyway, we're going to do some more on that. And, uh, but today what we're going to do is we'll do this... Uh, this little anvil piece, and we're going to start out with a with an oversized uh, chunk here, and you'll see why in just a little bit. Okay, let's uh, go over to the mill and uh, uh, make some cuts. Okay, so I'm going to flip our stop down here, and um, we're going to do this uh, this radius first. There, okay, um, that's the main radius that sits on the tube. And we're going to do that vertically like that. And this piece, you know, I kind of just squared up the ends just so it's easier to, uh, to deal with there. I'm just going to hold it in the vise. Okay, and all of you guys should remember how we set the, uh, the radius here. All right. Um, let's see, let's go to 375, halfway. Okay, so um, we're going to move the spindle, the distance of the radius off of... Uh, this back edge here, which is 770 in this case, okay, 770, okay, and then uh, actually maybe I'll move it over in the the other hole. Let's let's see if we can move it over far enough. We'll run the uh, boring head out. I think we'll be okay. And then we're you know we're just going to run the the boring head out until it. It just skips on that. Not close to my. Oh, I got a little ways to go there. Uh, doing it. Okay, there it is. Let's see if I can reach up there with my big old mitt. So what I'm listening for is a little sound, like that. All right, the, I just dinked that edge. Okay, so what that means is I'm at the correct radius. So what I can do is just, I can walk this axis in, in this direction like this until I reach the correct point, okay? And um, so, all right, let me, uh, what do we need here? We need a, Okay, so I think we're ready. Put a little, uh, a little juice on there. Make sure we're uh, we're tight. All right, and well, let's take a. Uh, oops, see upstairs neighbors. <laughs> All right, let's take a little cut and see what happens.
Okay, so we got the back radius cut there. Okay. Looks similar, right? Okay. All right, so now, let's see, what are we doing now? Now we are going to do, okay, we got our part like that. Okay. We're going to do this. So this is a radius as well. And this is one of the reasons that I wanted to kind of redo this. Um, I started out with a smaller piece before, and you see here the the two finishes there. Um, I had to I came I had to come from both sides to to get that radius because the piece I was working with was kind of small. So I said, oh well, it would be smarter if we started with a larger piece, kind of like that, right? Okay. So hence the redo and. Uh, couple of parallels in there like that and then we're gonna put this little monkey in there and back on our stop actually you know what I could go lower on those, Where are those? Let's see. oh yeah that's better so I just changed the height of the parallels there so I'm, I'm grabbing a little more and this isn't hanging out in the breeze so to speak Okay, all right, so same thing, we're going to set the radius and then uh, we'll come back and we'll uh, start chewing on that. Okay, that's it. Radius set, all right. Okie doke. <laughs> kind of an icky noise. I think I'll swap that insert corner. So there's after swapping that insert corner. So, you know, you can, it doesn't take much degradation on an insert for it to quit working as designed. So, uh, you heard that big squeak, and there's still a little squeak, but not much. It's uh, cooperating much better. So there's that cut. Um, I actually uh, in, ended up increasing the feed rate a little bit and that it, uh, made it even more cooperative. So there you can see. All right, so the last bit here, well, second to the last bit, is we have to create this, this shelf here. So we're gonna, we're gonna do a little, little mill in action there and uh, kind of carve that out down to that, uh, that floor there, okay? So, uh, let me get rid of this boring uh, bar and uh, get an end mill up in there and then we'll, uh, we'll mill that. Okay, so we got it all set up here. Um, my dimension on my drawing is, is kind of off of this bottom surface. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to calibrate that end mill on that bottom surface. Just by touching it, I'm going to zero my quill readout. And, and now I can just read my, uh, my number directly off of uh, the quill readout. All right, that's a little better. Let's uh, do, a little, do a little whittling there. Make sure my vice is tight.
Well, let's just go for the finish there. There's our, that's our finish step. And right there is our shoulder. right so we're gonna we'll we'll just saw it off here and we'll saw it off here and then we'll uh, we'll machine those edges so they're nice okay so we just uh, marked that for the uh, width now we'll uh, mark it for the uh, the length which is one and an eighth let's see one 125 right there let's stand that oops sorry guys and then I'm just gonna put a little scrub line there. And this, you know, this is this quick layout. Uh, now I can go over and I can just hacksaw that close and then we can just mill right to the lines and uh, call it quits. Bozo. I should have scrubbed it a little darker. That's about as close as you can get to bozo in it as uh, as possible. Didn't I didn't nick the scribe line, but I tried. <laughs> God, Doof, doofus man. All right, so now I gotta. I can't turn in the cut, so I'm just gonna back up even more. Boink. All right, save the day. Close enough for welding. 